Hello and welcome to some more Star Citizen with some more info on the salvage mechanic and the Vulture small salvage vessel. We should be getting the first implementation of salvage mechanics in 3.3 .3 in September, including salvage scanning, the ability to identify debris that could be salvaged, salvage extraction, the ability to collect debris from wrecks and planets, salvage processing, the ability to break down debris into its component parts, and then salvage buying and selling to traders. These systems should be designed to accommodate players who are on foot or in a ship as well. The Vulture is not going to be ready for 3.3 .3 or this year, so bear that in mind. Multi-Tool and the Reclaimer are the likely sort of like first implementations of the mechanics for salvage. In the recent Vulture Q&A, we learned a lot more for what the plans for the mechanics are and about the Vulture 2. Scanning down salvage. So all ships will have scanning abilities and certain ships such as the Vulture and the Reclaimer, have enhanced scanners specifically suited to scanning down salvage in a potentially similar way as the Prospector finds ore. Any ship with a large enough space can store stripped parts, weapons and items detached from other ships. Players can literally EVA out and detach these items, potentially using the multi-tool to cut them off and or salvage charges to blow bits off the ships. The Vulture is equipped for the whole process though, scraping, processing and ship breaking down, which will maximise its profit for your trips versus just grabbing components alone. Dedicated salvage scanners as well will allow you to identify components and their state much more easily than non-dedicated ships. So whilst you could strip every item out of an abandoned ship into a cutlass, 90% um, of them could be such low value that a vulture that was identifying which was worth grabbing could return the same sort of like profit with just 10% of the particular items and salvage that you'd want to grab. An example would be using mining in 3.2. Players can just fracture and extract every rock in sight, but, but without scanning and reviewing their composition and choosing which ones you actually want to mine, returns would be a lot lower versus a player who significantly targets the higher value assets. Like mining, salvage will have gameplay mechanics. When you are salvaging, it won't be a simple click and leave mechanic. There may be risks. Skill at performing it well and effectively will give you better profits and be potentially safer. Components salvaged from a ship are extremely unlikely to be in a pristine condition and their value will drop appropriately, presuming you can find a buyer willing to accept those items in that condition in the first place. On the flip side, processed and compacted raw materials from salvage will be readily bought by most manufacturing plants and refineries. There was also some very specific Vulture informations too. The Vulture has no specific additional synergy with any particular ship. However, players might find interesting uses for the ship, like potentially again reversing the vulture into the front of a caterpillar for offloading salvage more easily assuming that it fits when it's actually built they have previously talked about ships with tractor beams helping bring salvage or mining materials towards a particular ship and other cargo ships and manpower could obviously be used for larger salvage operations Every vulture comes equipped with a multi-tool that can be used for welding and cutting of objects alongside a full complement of salvage charges. The vulture has 12 SCU um, in cargo space compared to the prospector's 128 on paper, but the prospector can only actually hold 32 SCU at any given time without detaching one of its saddle bags. That 12 SCU that the vulture has is for both little compressed cubes of salvage, which obviously get processed in your ship and then deposited into your cargo bay, but also scavenged items, so literally weapons and stuff that you've taken off other ships. You might be able to store cargo and other bits and bobs and weapons and things in other parts of your ship, though it's not particularly recommended as the kiosk and sales interfaces might not actually uh, detect them and they can get damaged in transit. With the salvage role of the Vulture and all the economy-based jobs, in fact, they will be reviewing profit per hour, sort of like, um, and making that balanced and making adjustments where needed. People should not speculate on the viability of the Vulture based on its current in-game scrap and metal prices, as these are not the same as what the Vulture will produce. 
if they need to increase the size of the cargo bay. Of the Vulture, they can do so without a significant rework. They want to balance the kind of gameplay of the starter professions with mining and salvage and potentially others to some degree so that there's not one that is like, well, why wouldn't you just do mining all the time because you just make more profit. However, the verse is going to be relatively dynamic with an economy and certain areas are going to have demand for certain things and that has to be taken into consideration too. The Vulture has two dedicated VTOL thrusters in the front of cells of the rear landing gear, plus the rear two main engines will also have VTOL capabilities if required. So it looks like the Vulture will be able to be used on the ground to salvage ground items as well. The Vulture is a rounded introduction to salvage covering all the basic principles. It can scan down valuable scrap and areas to be utilized more effectively than a non-salvaged ship. It will process relatively low volumes of low to medium value scrap, plus any components that it can find. They decided to give the Vulture living space rather than a large cargo bay to allow for players to spend a longer time away from bases. They wanted the ship to have a longer range, basically. The Vulture is on concept sell until the 18th of July, 2018. And I'm very excited for the salvage mechanics now. To be honest, any new mechanics that come to Star Citizen that start to give it its essential gameplay loops and economy that the game sorely needs um, is going to excite me. Tell me what you think in the comments below. To celebrate the release of 3.2, myself and a multitude of other Star Citizen streamers are fundraising for Special Effect with a series of streams over the week until the 7th of July. There will be ship giveaways across the various streams too. Go to justgiving.com slash fundraising slash star dash citizen dash special effect to find out more and get involved. I'm also giving away a Saber Raven to a random commenter on one of my videos during that time too. Make sure you're subscribed to my YouTube channel and comment on any of my videos made this week to be in for a chance of winning, including this one. Uh, also, Shadow Stuffs. Be sure to check out Shadow. It's a cloud-based alternative to getting or upgrading your gaming PC. It allows you to leverage the power of a GeForce 1080 at the moment and a powerful Windows 10 PC on almost any device so long as your internet connection is good enough. It works with Star Citizen Alpha 3.2 and with 3.3 coming in September with object container streaming, it's only going to get better. Shadow is available in France, Germany, United States, United Kingdom, Belgium, Luxembourg and Switzerland. If you do try it out, be sure to use the code BOARDGAMER to get a discount. Links to more info in the description below. A special thank you to my Patreons and all the people that watch my videos and all that sort of jazz. You guys are awesome. Um, if you want to support the channel further, there's links below as well for Patreon donations and all that sort of jazz as well. You guys are amazing. You take care and I'll see you in the verse.